Officer, I am your narrator for this afternoon's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our principal, Rebecca Watson, and the Corps of Cadets, welcome you to East River High School. Today, Cadet Angel Burrell is playing taps at Cindy Krikores on drums. Thank you for joining us today as we remember this special day and time that changed our lives forever. It was a beautiful, sunny Tuesday morning in New York City. Americans were starting their day, and then the first plane hit the North Tower at 8.46 a.m. American 11, are you trying to call? The cops are just not answering the phone. I am going to call from Washington. I am in a situation where I'm going to learn the possible hijack. What's going on there? I'm going to call you right now. Eddie, are you there? Eddie? Eddie? I'm going to call you right now. What? Is it 737? Yeah, what? At the World Trade? Who are you talking to? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Air 175, New York. We have some problems over here right now. We might have a hijack over here, too. Fuel, this is Ryan. Uh, listen, on an airplane, that's been hijacked. Things don't go well. I'm looking good. I just want you to know, like, absolutely fuck you. I want you to do good. So happy you're fine. Uh, thanks to my parents and everybody, and I just totally love you, and uh, I hope you like the best What are those people going to do? All, all the other members are blocked out. Oh my god, so both towers are now... Okay, I got an aircraft that's about east of the White House. Crystal City, just north of Crystal City. This is North Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina. Okay, I got this guy headed. Don't forget that. United 93, that traffic through. You want to talk 12 miles east on 370? I get a contact. We're looking at United 93. United 93, Cleveland, if you hit the center right there. Tuesday, 9.47 a.m. Hi, baby. I'm baby. I have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that I love them very much. And I'm so sorry, babe. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. Bye. We're five, six, eight, six, five. We have a. Uh... I believe it is a uh, Boeing 757. Can you see him up there, sir? That's good. Uh, it looks like he's rocking his wings. Roger. He's rocking back and forth. We're 56865. I advise you stay away from that aircraft. Go north as fast as you can. United 93. Have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down? Yes. When did he land? He did not land. Oh, he's down? Yes. Yeah, somewhere up northeast of Camp David. I just want to let you know I love you, and I'm stuck in this building in New York. We both are smoking, we just want to let you know that I love you, but wait. At number two, I'll say it's just right. Maybe we'll see if you're talking. We're not ready to die, we're getting bad. No, 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 no,
Good afternoon. Today we pause to commemorate the 21st anniversary of the events of September 11th, 2001. The wreath that we displayed honors the memory of those lost that fateful day. On that day, over 3,000 individuals lost their lives. Among those who died were first responders, firefighters, police officers, and paramedics. At this time, Ms. Watson will lay the wreath in memory of those who paid the ultimate sacrifice that day. She is escorted by Cadet Walter and Cadet Badanthus. This concludes today's ceremony. Students, after cadets leave the courtyard, go to your seventh period. Parents and guests, please be careful as you leave the campus. Thank you. Thank you.